Hi, my name is Carrie Cottle, and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today, we are reading the classic book, Swimmy, by Leo Leone. It's one of my very favorites. I read it at least once a year to my students um, at our special beach day field trip. It's a very uh, excited read aloud for me, and I love reading this book to children and adults of all ages because this is a book about revolution. It's a book about not giving up and about organizing and coming together to stand up for yourselves and to take your place at the table. Enjoy! Swimmy by Leo Leone Swimmy published by Dragonfly Books school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. That was Swimmy by Leo Leone. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you can play with it. I like to reread this and really play with pronouns. One of the challenges I have with this book is that Leo Leone only used the male pronoun, he, throughout the entire book. So sometimes I read it with a female protagonist and Swimmy as a she, sometimes Swimmy as a they, and sometimes we can kind of play back and forth with all the different genders in the book. The other thing I like to do with this book is act it out. If you just have 
two people. You can be all of the characters all together or even just one. If I'm reading this book and you play it again, this video, you can act it all out and be all of the characters because there's some wonderful movement and emotion in the story of Swimmy by Leo Leone. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and stand up for what's right. Bye-bye.